I seriously messed up big time. What's hanging tree budge? It's treewalker36 here. And you're probably looking at your screen all confused as why I titled my video I messed up. So let me give you some backstory. I was playing Freedom Planet 2 for my gameplay series. If you haven't checked it out already, I suggest you do. I was just going about business. I was just doing my funny commentary and then I see a notification pop up from my recorder saying that I was low on storage. So then it occurred to me that I forgot to delete the previous footage from my other video for the gameplay. So I was just thinking, okay, that's a easy mistake to fix. I'll just go into my files and then I'll just delete that video and then we'll just carry back on with the video. Being the complete rube as I am. I was not paying attention. I just went in there. I just deleted a random piece of footage and I, I, I dumped the entire recycle bin because when I checked in the recycle bin, there was like a lot of footages that I still had left from previous videos that I've already posted that I've already saved to my USB drive. I just wanted to check the footage that I had left to make sure that it was my footage and not the other one so i opened up my editor <laughs> buddy you want to know which video i found it was the footage from the previous video yeah yeah i accidentally deleted the footage for the video that i just recorded i was so devastated when i figured out what i did and i i was just I was lost. I don't even know if I was going to continue recording that video. Uh, at some point, I, I just pulled through. I just finished what was left and then I added a little bit. So I guess this is technically going to be a bonus video for y'all. It was never intended to be, but I hope you guys enjoy what's left of this video. So without further ado, let's dive in. What am I even going to do now, bro? I don't even know. I mean, I guess I might as well finish. Shoot. I'm just, I'm, I'm so disappointed in myself, bro. Like, I'm, I'm being so serious when I say this. I'm actually disappointed in myself that I made such a careless and easily avoidable mistake. Such a, a rookie, such a rookie move that I just made. I don't, it's, it's just, it, it hurts. It really hurts, bro. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. <sighs> I, I guess let's just go ahead and just... Let's just finish the boss fight. And let us carry on with our day. Giving up? That doesn't sound like her at all! Yeah? And how would you know that? She's my best friend! And she's my flesh and blood! You think you know my own sis better than me? Yes! <sighs> well, you can't force her to do what she don't want to, either way. She's her own woman, just like when she left for the stars. Take a page out of her book. Get gone and stay gone. Murga's got this in the bag. You're all way behind the power curve here, so get out before it hits zero. How does she keep doing that? We have bigger problems. While we may have disabled the beacons in this region... Didn't Spade say they were all over the island? Oh, looks like we have work to do. Joy. Okay, let's go and find these. Let's go find these beacons. Huh? Thanks for the fun times. Unfortunately, I've got bills to pay and errands to run. Consider the robot my service fee. Have fun saving the world. And he took the robot too. That's it. King Dale, 
A word, your highness? Miss Nira. I will attempt to phrase this as politely as possible. Tell your wretched scoundrel of a brother to surrender that alien drone immediately! Wait, what are you talking about? You sent him to assist us in Perusa, and now he's run off with the Syntax drone. And you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I am going to bust him up. Good. Oh, see that you do. I knew he had something up his sleeve. Spade is such a card. Look on the bright side! At least Serpentine doesn't have syntax, right? We have to find him. He cannot be allowed to sell that drone to anyone with both the money yeah, and yeah, temerity to... Gone. Wait, Looks like what the freak? That scent! And that friend. other scent! <laughs> so the fool finally shows herself. Carol? Carol! Serpentine! Carol, quick! Get behind us! We'll cover you! What are you guys doing here? A better question. What is he doing here? Hold up, it's cool. We're on the same team now. The green team. Okay. So it's treason then. Yes! The furball works for me now! Wow. Together we will make Bakunawa mine! Uh, no. Backspace bro, you work for me. Do you think this is some kind of a game, Wildcat? You've led us on a wild goose chase, jeopardizing the safety of millions. Look, I know it was a bad idea. Now, it was a family thing. I wasn't thinking straight, and it didn't end well. So, let's just let bygones be bygones, eh? You're funny. Golly! Oh, sorry, scary lady. What? No henchman of mine is going to apologize to anyone but me! Scratch your face! That's enough! We need to set aside our issues. Carol wants Cory, and Serpentine wants Bakunawa, and Nira wants Carol's head on a stick. Okay, but none of that is going to happen if- I agree. I will begin the head transplant immediately. <laughs> but! There was a but there, Nira. Hold on. Hey, ladies. So, good news and bad news. Safe by the gong, am I right? <laughs> is that Carol? And Serpentine? Man, what did I miss? Never How do you mind know Serpentine's general. here? Report. Is it like a visual well, thing? good news is, Murga's not at the palace no more. Shang Tu has been retaken? Excellent work. Thanks, but uh, she kind of left on her own. Bad news is, she took Pangu with her. Didn't she say that Pangu was a vital component? So that means... She's reviving oh, Bakunawa no. as we speak. <laughs> yes! Yes! Bakunawa will soon be mine! Are you trying to get beat up? Oh, Murga also left a message. Sounded like it was meant for Lilac. Me? Play it. Hatchling, I know you and your friends are behind the efforts to sabotage my work in Perusa. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. You still do not fully understand, and I wish to educate you. Meet me at these coordinates tonight. Come alone. Trap! Trap, 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 trap! Yeah, that's what uh -huh. I thought Speaking too. of the person who just went to go find her sister. Shang -Tu for when you ambush Murga. You are ambushing Murga, right? No. <laughs> what? You do know that today is an opposite day, right? You all go look for Spade. I can handle this. You want us to work with you, reprobate, and stop me from destroying this world? I do. And unless you two want to fight over who let Spade get away with Syntax the worst, I'd suggest you two shake hands and get on with it. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about, Lilac. Set them straight. <sighs> I, I still, I, I can't get that off my chest that I just deleted. No, cut the music, cut it off. I can't believe that I just deleted all of my, all the footage that I just did. It was, it was too low. That was basically the entire episode. This was supposed to be where I ended it off. Now I, all I have is a, actually, I don't even have a boss fight. I just have a cutscene and then another cutscene and then we're here. Then we're here. That can't even be. That can, that's barely even 10 minutes. It's not like I even did anything. I just commentated. <sighs> you, you know what? I think we just completed the episode, so... I think that means we can get the final thing in the Battlesphere. Let me...
plug my headphones back in i think that means the battlesphere thing just unlocked so let's quickly get that and then um then we'll try and watch him all right here we go rolling thunder <sighs> i'm sorry my, my mood's just been so so down the entire time i know y'all don't want to hear a guy be depressed the entire episode so <sighs> let's get turned back up all right let's go rolling thunder you've been dropped into the, the pit the freak is the pit that's supposed to be some type of kinky place can you find your way out Take that entire thing out of context. Um. Okay. Um, okay. I'm on. Okay, restart that, because I want to get my bonus. Okay, we can drop that. Then we can go right here. Bam. Then we scoot this back. Bop. Go up here. Okay. So we'll scoot this right here. We'll drop down here. We'll get shot up there. Nope, we're not gonna do that. Uh how is this supposed to work? I, I... How am I supposed to solve this one? Who even knows? But I'm gonna restart, cause like I said, I want that bonus. Scoot that over there. Drop the ball down. What's over here? There's some boxes. Scoot this back down. Up here. Cyclone. Ah, okay, I got you. Cyclone. Okay, let me formulate a plan here. Okay. So... Would I... Yeah, okay. I understand what I'm supposed to do now. That was awesome. Scoot slightly. Jump here, slap it, there you go. Jump, slap it. And then I'll just jump in here. Um. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna formulate a plan. I'm gonna formulate a plan to, to do this. Ah, uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Bro, there is so much stuff here. My goodness. All this stuff. My oh my.
Okay, we're supposed to get back up there. Let me formulate my plan first. Because I need to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing before I even do it. Okay, so then... Yeah, we're not dragging that ball up there. So I'm guessing it will go right here. Ah, uh, okay. Push this. Go ahead and smack it. Drag it back. Yeah. Then I will be right here. Get a circuit going. Yeah. Get a circuit going. Drop that. Oh my goodness! Bro, there is so much stuff! How are you supposed to do this in like... How are you supposed to do this in like one minute? Are you actually telling me that I have to get the ball so perfect onto that bounce pad? So that it can bounce off it. This is crazy! They expect you to do that in one minute? Yeah, forget the time bonus. No, 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 no. Forget the bonus. Where's my time capsule at? Nah. Now we have 13 capsules. Now we have the we have the evidence right there, memories of the past. I got them all and nobody can say otherwise. Now to view these capsules. Shout out to Platinum Renegade once again. He said that we can view them again back at the the place where we viewed the first one back in adventure square so let's go ahead and do that business right now i figure that since this video is probably going to be as, as short as a baby carrot stick it, I... judy are you serious right now come on okay volcanoes erupted multicolored lava are a perfectly common occurrence on perusa just one of the many natural experiences on this island. Yeah! Enjoy the wondrous sight and tell all your friends to visit. Yeah! Get this man, or woman, get this woman out of my sight. I. Lilac, stop sightseeing. We have a job to do. I said stop sightseeing! Alright, right here. Initializing. Oh shoot, this is crazy. Lord Brevin. Oh shoot. <laughs> I like how my oh shoot went from a actual amaze. Oh shoot, and then it went to a petrified. Oh shoot. Um, okay, Avalis Day. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Avalis Day. After many years, the restoration of Bakunawa is almost complete. Just in time for the anniversary of our landing on this planet, Avalis Day. Oh, okay. Thinking about how far we've come makes me so proud to be an Earth Dragon. 
When we first crash landed here, the natives didn't even have a name for this planet, much less the tools and technology to properly explore and utilize its resources. Now look at us. We have proper cities alight with modern conveniences, medicines and technological advancements for all. We've even put those ocean dwellers to work on Bakunawa, lifting them out of their primitive tribal ways. Avalis Day will be a grand celebration. End entry. Oh, okay, okay. So Avalis Day is the anniversary of the Earth Dragons landing on Avalis. Let's go into Bakunawa Rising. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Bakunawa Rising. Bakunawa is now undergoing a full evaluation of the ship systems. We are weeks away from having a fully functional spacecraft again. This is so exciting. However, I'm sad to report that not everyone shares in that excitement. There have been rumblings of dissatisfaction from the laborers working on Bakunawa's restoration, complaining about long hours and dangerous conditions. I think it's just a bunch of backtalk from some people who've had it too good for too long. My maid Perlis agrees and she's one of them. Fortunately, she's one of the good ones. Spirits know some of these ocean dwellers need to learn their place. End entry. Okay. So they so Bakunawa was like a thing for everybody. And now is their key to leave. So so does Murga wanna leave the planet? Why does Murga want Bakunawa to rise? Does she wanna leave the planet? Is that why she wants it to rise so badly? Cordelia was saying it as like she wanted it or as they were building it so that they could finally leave the planet. But back in Freedom Planet One, they were talking about how they tried to leave the planet, but they were unsuccessful. Does that mean that Bakunawa was an unsuccessful project new entry cordelia personal subject bakunawa abandoned something went wrong we think it was an accident i really don't know what to believe right now the bakunawa restoration project has been shut down the ocean dwellers are angry all of them perlis is gone and so have all our other ocean dweller servants when I asked father where they went, he insisted that they'd taken time off to celebrate some kind of holiday. He wouldn't look at me when he told me that. They ain't going for when no I asked holiday. Him about what happened with Bakunawa, he told me to mind my own business, still refusing to look at me. I think we've done something truly terrible today. End entry. Dang, she didn't even do the bow that time. So, there was an accident that happened? Like... But what was the accident? New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Ocean Dweller Rumors. There's been talk of some kind of new threat arising from the Ocean Dwellers. A champion of immeasurable power, biologically- huh? Isn't that the one that I just- Oh, so wait, that's the fifth one? Okay, so then I didn't watch the first one then. Okay, my bad, my bad. This is our final message a message that we leave for the future oh shoot though we will respect the wishes of your people and allow our influence to pass into legend there will come a time in your history when you must learn the truth when we were stranded here we sought desperately to return to our world we wasted countless years trying to find a way home but we are no closer to an answer than when we started. We decided that helping your civilization survive and prosper was a more efficient use of our technology. We have condensed our energy reserves into a physical relic of extraordinary power. With proper care, you may one day use it to travel to the stars to find the answers that we alone could never find. If you wish to know more, you'll have to access our internal database. I pray that it is still intact by the time you receive this message. May the winds of time carry you for eternity. 
Okay, so that was the first thing that we saw back in Freedom Planet 1. So we've had this for like a hot minute. So that was... Okay, so the rest are... This was the one we just collected. This is the one that we've had for like years. Years now. Uh, this These ones were new. So then let's go to number six, Trapped. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Trapped. My ocean dweller hosts have decided that, as the Magister's daughter, I would be more useful to them as a hostage. Marvelous. The nature of my daughter. imprisonment was discussed in a meeting between the Ocean Dweller's elders and I, by which I mean, I was present while a bunch of old men talked about me as if I wasn't there. It was several minutes before I realized what I'd assumed was a statue was actually another living being. But I knew who it had to be. The Ocean Dweller's champion. She was tall, dark, imposing. And she was staring directly at me the entire time. It was unsettling. Oh, Cordelia, what have you gotten yourself into? You got put you put yourself into the grinder. That's what you did. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject? Her name is Murga. Well, I know the champion's name. Murga. She told me, after telling me that if I was planning any Earth Dragon shenanigans, she'd take my head clean off. Damn! Apparently, yeah, leave. the champion had the impression that my people were all schemers and liars. She based this on a sampling of everyone she had ever killed. Charming. Champion or not, I was not about to be intimidated. So I told her that if my people were as she generalized, then hers must be equally psychologically homogenous. Meaning, they were all as stupid as her. That earned me a glance, oh. she stormed off. <laughs> I win. Such a child. End entry. Okay, Princess Cordelia got a bit of wit to her. I bet that wit's what got her head chopped off. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Oh, okay. She's just wearing different garments. Hawk. I was like, is this the... I decided to take a wander to the markets for some fresh Chopin for my favorite stall. And who should be there ahead of me? The champion, of course. Apparently, my favorite stall was hers too. And of course, she had to have it all. She needs all the energy she can get. Oh, but she can spare just one Chopin. So she picks one out of her bag and lays it on top of my head. <laughs> then, with the biggest smirk on her face, she stalked off. And the market crowd parted for her in a frightened scurry. Ugh, that woman. End entry. Golly, bro. This girl, this woman, Murga, she is hating on the low. I don't even know what they did wrong. Like, the only thing that we know that they did wrong was that, or it's not even something that's wrong. It's like they, they told us that something happened like an accident but we don't know what the accident was this one is no place for a hero new entry cordelia personal subject no place for a hero there was an attack by earth dragon forces on the beach today the champion swooped in and simply destroyed the troops it was ruthlessly efficient unfortunately an ocean dweller child had been caught in the middle of the battle and his cries summoned nearby adults and they just Stared. They saw the child in pain, but refused to come any closer. The champion tried to comfort the child, but that only seemed to make his crying worse. Eventually, she left, and the adults rushed in. As the champion turned away, I could see the expressions of relief wash over their faces, and one of her hurt flash over hers. End entry. Oh, snap. So the earth dragons were starting to fear Murga. So that's why she turned it. That's probably why she was turning to the dark side. See, this is how you, this is usually how most people turn to the dark side. It's like when they're just, these people are just trying to live their lives. It's just how they look. It's just, they have intimidation just written all over them. So then when they just walk, everybody fears them. Every step they take, it invokes fear amongst the people. So... I don't know why those people or like those earth dragons wanted to attack Murga, 
but she she defended herself and then apparently a child was in the mix she tried to comfort him it just didn't happen so then when she left all the other earth dragons came rushed in to comfort the child and then that made murga feel mad and she has every right to feel mad for that because you know she was she was hated she was feeling that hate from the people so i mean that would be reason enough to fall into hate not saying that you should wipe out an an entire clan or an entire race that doesn't justify anything but still i understand what happened now or at least a little bit of it i still don't know what that accident was though that's what i want to figure out what was that accident new entry cordelia personal subject revenge of the show pow the champion was injured today so despite her appearance she isn't invincible after all I stopped by the medical center as she was healing up. She was surprised to see me, and I said the feeling was mutual. Then I offered her a Shopow. One Shopow. Out of a basket filled with Shopow that I was lugging around for emphasis. I have never seen a flatter stare. She took it anyway and mumbled something that sounded halfway between a thanks and a curse. I was happy to reciprocate with my own charming banter, and she could do nothing but glare at me from her bed. It was a fun afternoon. End entry. Okay. A bunch of rivals that are about to turn into friends. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject. Flowers for Murga. Unexpectedly, the champion has an interest in flowers. I was wearing a small white flower with a delightful scent in my hair when Murga identified it as a Sampagita. It turns out that amongst the many things Murga was taught, horticulture had somehow been snuck in there as well. When I asked if she knew the name of more than one flower, she took immediate offense and dragged me to the nearest garden. She then started listing the names of the flowers there and their uses. I didn't have the heart to interrupt her. I've never seen her as happy as she was today. Okay, so they're starting to become friends now. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, our fight. I tried broaching the subject of peace to Murga again tonight. She wasn't happy to talk about it and tried to distract me. I pointed out that if she and I could get along, why couldn't our people as well? She said it was impossible, that I was one of the good ones. I stormed out. I was rather furious at that point. Mostly at myself. Well, now I know what being on this side of that comparison feels like. Stupid Cordelia. Marga found me later with some freshly picked moonflowers in hand and an apology. <laughs> she knew exactly what to do and say. Got me wrapped around her fingers. End entry. So, as it stands right now, the earth and water dragons, they just do not like each other. I'm fe I feel like it has to do with that accident, but we don't know what the accident was. What was that accident? New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, a war of attrition. Murga got hurt again. She tried to hide it from me, act as if it were a, a scratch. But I can tell from the way she carries herself that moving about was more difficult than usual. I suggested relaxing on the beach and watching the sunset, and she agreed immediately. She knows I know. I can see she's tired. This war has taken its toll on all of us, but most especially on Marga. She can't keep going like this. I have to convince our leaders that this isn't the only way. End entry. I'm trying to I'm trying to formulate like an idea of what's what's going on. So they're in they are I mean like they they're in a war, right? Because like okay, actually you know what? I think I'm a I think I'm a watch like all the time capsules and then I'm gonna finally get like I'll talk about it then at the end. New entry, Cordelia personal subject in pursuit of peace. I've done it! I've convinced the elders of the Water Dragon Council to meet with the Magister in Shangtu, my old home. I think both sides expect some kind of duplicity, but I'm not worried. Murga will be with us to provide protection. 
If anything were to happen to us, she would cut through the country's troops like a hot knife through butter. And I think everyone is well aware of that. I have to go now. The caravan is leaving. Whatever happens next, I hope to free Murga of her role as the Ocean Dweller's champion. It won't be an easy road, but nothing worth doing is. End entry. Alright. Oh, Lord Brevin. Oh. Three years have passed since the invasion that almost destroyed our world of Avalis. Brevin, the intergalactic warlord, had planned to steal the Kingdom Stone, source of energy for all our world's technology. With the help of Lilac, the Water Dragon Warrior, and her friends, we drove back our alien attackers. But the scars of war remain. The Kingdom Stone has been shattered, its fragments scattered into the very air around us. Remnants of the alien attack force haunt us still striking us at our most vulnerable, leaving us in a perpetual state of turmoil. The world of Avalis needs hope, but more than that, it needs heroes. Okay, and then... That, that's, that's it? Uh... Shoot. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I kind of want to watch this one again. Because maybe I'm not understanding something. Okay, I wasn't. So then, what was the thing? What was the accident that she was referring to? Because she said Magister's daughter. So, Magister... She had a, he had a child. I guess in, she kicked the bucket. He went into an all rage. She was like, yeah, I'm not going to let this slide, bro. That was my daughter. So let, let, let's go over what we do now. So the water dragons, they came from a world, a different world. We know that they landed here. They don't want to be here anymore. They want to go. So they were constructing Bakunawa with the help of water dragons who were there. We don't know how long they've been there. So then they were working together on this thing called Bakunawa, which was to help them get back to their planet or or like escape from this planet that they were stuck on. Something happened. We, I don't know what happened, but something happened. Then the water dragons were like, nah, I'm done with this. Y'all can get out of my sight. We, we done doing this project. We don't want to leave no more. You guys are stupid. Then they just went on with their way. We don't know what the accident was. We don't, we don't even know. I don't, well, at least I don't know. I don't know what happened. So then, okay, okay, okay. And then that ties in with this one. Yeah, okay. So this was the very first one that we found. Okay, but this one goes fifth in the time capsules that we found. I'm gonna assume that these went into order of like when they were recorded. I don't know why, I don't know how angry they got, but apparently the water dragons decided that they wanted to build a whole different water dragon that was built for, for war. <laughs> I don't even know why they wanted to do that at all. Like, I don't, I don't know if the earth dragons like i don't know maybe they said like your mama your mama smell like my feet and then they were like oh you feel that way all right we out i don't know how they felt but or i don't know why they felt that way but they felt that way and they created murga i guess they wanted to get their get back for what, whatever happened while they were working on a project of bakunawa the princess cordelia she wanted to go there and then she wanted to talk with Murga, right they're going there she's trying to befriend her but Murga wasn't really for it and then throughout time they started she started to ease up on her and then they they, they started to become friends i don't know what happened to cordelia after that after they became friends because uh the last time that we see her is in capsule 14 which is where she was saying that the water dragons finally decided to have a peace negotiation with the earth dragons in shang 2 and then uh, yeah that that was when they were at war but like when did they when did we even get into a war like did i miss something hold up let me watch let me watch some of these things again 
Okay, so I just rewatched some of them, but then I still have the question as when did we get into a war and why? I like I feel like the reason would be because of that fight. Not the fight, I guess the accident, but we don't know what the accident was. So my que my question now since we we kind of know a bit of Burga's backstory, like she had a friend with Princess Cordelia, which was the Magister's daughter. Can't believe Magister had a daughter. What happened to Cordelia? What was the accident that happened during Project Bakunawa? And why did they go into a war? Which kind of ties, I guess, kind of ties into the question of why or what what happened during that day of Bakunawa. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh... Okay, and we just watched all 13 time capsules. I'm not sure if we're gonna get more on the story throughout the rest of the game, but I think this is about what we can get so far of right now. So, what is this place? Oh, we got a submarine now? Oh, that's sick. Gravity bubble. Well, uh, I guess this will be where we pick it up in the next episode, which will probably be the last episode that i will do of the freedom planet series so i'll probably just like start recording but then i'll keep playing the game until i finish it but i think that is it for today <sighs> i'm still i'm i'm so disappointed that i, I lost all of that footage bro y'all y'all don't even get y'all didn't even get to see how i just wailed on captain kalal like devastating but that's it guys i hope y'all enjoyed on i guess the scrapes of this episode like the meat like the actual meat of this episode is kind of gone so i guess i hope y'all enjoyed the, the side dishes on this episode if y'all did leave a like and subscribe i really appreciate a like because i i just lost two stages worth of footage and i'm not getting that back but yeah i will see y'all in the next episode yo which will be the final episode where we finally face off Virga and bakunawa probably i will see y'all in the next video i love y'all and i'll see y'all i'm so disappointed man